We're in front of the door of my RX-7 because there is something in it. So the painted parts are in there, or at least some of them. Let's have a look at uh, the parts. Mmm, so nice. I can't wait to get this mounted. Start up front. I'm going to loosen the uh, triple clamp or the top plate of the triple clamp and uh, see if I can get uh, the mount for the front light on and then actually mount the front light. So let's get to it. I'm so scared. I don't want to damage anything. So the big issue will be getting the shock all the way up. Oh, it is all the way up. I think. Is it? No, it's not. Oh, this is it. I think. Now we flip it. Yes, that's better. Ooh, fits perfect. And now this goes on to here. And now the... Nope, I have to do the other one first. Same thing. Oh, I'm so scared to do anything. Whew. Let's get these bolts started. Oh no, I already got greasy fingers. It used to be pink. This is already looking, starting to look really sick. I'm realizing now that I'm starting to rush things because I'm too excited. I'm starting to fiddle with Ah, with these cables and uh, I got to keep calm because I don't want to damage anything. I think uh, my painter will also kill me if I uh, damage stuff. Uh, next up is the side covers. So there is a sticker set available for these, um, but they are actually for FS1 and the side cover stickers are too short. So I've uh, found somebody that can uh, reproduce stickers. And I was able to scan him, measure him, and he was able to reproduce the stickers uh, at full size. So we could cut them to the size of this panel. Let's see how this thing looks. Oh, gorgeous. So we need an uh, M6 bolt. <laughs> it's a bit loose on there, but I think it's fine. Yeah, it's also a bit loose. Maybe there need to be a little rubber in between here. Maybe I can fabricate something when I get there. <clears throat> Sweet! It's tight. Nice. And now for the big moment. Is it in? Needs to go a bit more to the front. Is it the white wing loom? This is too thick. No, I think it's all the way in. Huh. 
Yeah, I think that's it. Oh yes! This thing is so cool. <laughs> Which is nice. Oh my God. Let's get the front light mounted. So while I was polishing the original light, I forgot I ordered a remanufactured, but I'm not sure if it will fit. But I have a slight feeling it will. Huh. And there's already a light in it. Cool. So let's get to wiring. It's just a matter of connecting colors to colors, which is pretty easy if you have a wiring loom that's all from the same bike. I think I have everything. These are for the blinkers, which I don't have and don't care about. And just uh, blue is for the horn, I think. And the last one I have to connect is this one. I have to connect it to the ground somehow. So let's see what we got. I think it should work. So what I usually do is uh, just take a longer bolt for one of the headlight mounts and add the black wire to this bolt and this is my ground for the for the ignition so basically add a washer and remove some of the isolation of the wire and then just twist it around this bolt and just take it around once or twice then just add another washer and a nut and that should make a ground there we go a ground now just connect these bullet connectors and then just stuff it all in and hopefully this thing will mount up correct. There's so much wires in this thing. Oh, god damn it, this won't work. It looks like it's off by like one millimeter or so. Oh. have a gap here in the bottom no I'm not going to force it shit so I'm going to try and do a uh, headlight ectomy uh, I'm going to try and put this um, yeah, what's it called an inner piece the mirror I don't know into this housing they should be, if I measured or looked correctly, they should be the same dimension. And to get these out, there are three. There should be three, but there's only two in this uh, light. Of these springs, which you can pry off with a set of pliers. And then this should come out. And if we do the same on this side. Then the light should also come out, and then we can just swap the chrome rings. Ooh, I didn't know these were two pieces. And the glass. Okay. Let's see if I was correct. Oh yeah, this will work. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So it sits like this. Let's be the top, actually be sort of the top. This is uh, this is down. 
So if this is down, then the top, the lens actually says top on the side. Then you should flip it like this. Yeah, something like that. Fitment isn't perfect. This uh, chrome ring had a little, has a little dent in here. But it's not too bad. These springs, however, are too short, so we have to use the original ones. Just fine. Oh, these can be very fiddly sometimes. These are not going to seal, are they? Or at least seal, not seal, hold them in place. I hope this one will be better. Yes, it's in. Nice. So one of the last things to do is uh, this set of gauges. Uh, so these are actually just uh, rubber mounted. So you basically put this rubber onto this bracket and then you take the, the rev counter, the counter, and then just stick it up in there. And I think that's it. Then the only thing that should be holding it is this nut with the wire for, in this case, the rev gauge. And on the other side, the speedometer. Oh, there's another nut on there. Okay, so I was lying. I'm not lying, but there should be a nut and a washer on here. I'll have to check my part supply. So we got this brand new fuel pit cock. Let's put this thing in. Cock. And now a fuel line as well. Now the finishing touch. to cinematic shot, go! So excited on how this turned out. This looks gorgeous. I hope I can find a way to get the rear end the same yellow. Maybe I need to find a broken one or maybe a rusted out one so you can maybe respray it. But for now, it looks pretty cool. So uh, I'm waiting for my license plate to come in and then I can hopefully drive it. 
Although I have to get out of country for two weeks. So I hope I got my license plate back when I, when I get back. So then I can take her for a maiden voyage, which will be so exciting. I can't wait. I actually want to take this thing out, get it into the sun because this thing will look absolutely stunning. I can't wait. Whew. So uh, if you followed this build and if you've liked it, thank you for watching and uh, consider subscribing because there will be more coming, especially from this bike and others. So if you want to see more, subscribe. And if you liked it, leave a like. And uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.